All right, here we are, ready to go with the Turbo Wing Kobe by TransTech. What I got here is a 3S 850 milliamp battery with the XT30 plug. So I have put a XT60 to XT30 plug converter and uh, kind of Velcroed it down after I Velcroed down the battery to the uh, quadcopter. So hunkered it down so it doesn't move around. Flip the battery the opposite way because the cable is pretty long. So just got to plug it in and we are ready to go. So let's check it out. I got my Tyrannus QX7S turned on, ready to go. Plugging it in. All right, no buzzer. So let's check it out. There we go. I have to say, it's got very good control. Okay, punch out. Okay, one more punch out. Yeah, it's got lots of power. Ducted fan design, so it does have that slightly misdirection on some of the uh, turnarounds because of the ducted fan. Like that, when you punch out. It does have a little bit of a turn by itself. There we go. So far, it's looking pretty good. Let me uh, flick it over to Acro here. Hey, not bad at all. Very, very nice. Gonna be a very nice FPV flyer, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in and check it out with some FPV goggles. Do a couple of speed passes first. Yeah, the sun just doesn't want to come out today. I'm pretty sure it will come out a little bit later. Look at that, it's starting to peak out. No buzzer, so we're not going to get a warning Ten, of low battery. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, very nice, very nice. Three, two, one. Okay, three minute timer is up and the sun just peaked out. Very nice. Yep, the Turbo Wing Kobe. Looking pretty good. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. Let's see, land it back on the table here. There we go, all right. All right, here we go. Our first FPV flight with the Turbo Wing Kobe. Arming. Okay, a little bit of vibrations there. And the field of view is not the greatest. OK, 
Okay, let's see if what happens if I go around the cabin. Yeah, still good. Nice. Two. Whoa. Yeah, I'm getting redirected by the uh, the prop guards. Gotta just gradually throttle up. I'm pretty sure it'll fly a lot better without these prop guards. But I have to say it is very accurate. Yeah, as you can see, when I come down and I throttle up again, it kind of redirects me because of the uh, duct tape fan design. But we are able to do some FPV, some acro flying. One. Pretty nice. Not bad at all. Still got lots of battery life. All right. Woohoo! Just enough power to get back in the air. Whoa. 30. Yeah, so redirecting it on its descent when you throttle back up 20. from a free fall, that's when it's redirecting itself because of the uh, prop guards. Other than that, this is nice. A little bit of prop wash. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hey, pretty two, good. One. Not bad at all. All right, let's check out this big rock that's over here. See if I can go beyond it and see if I still get some. Uh... Uh oh. Yep. Oh, that big boulder just cut off my transmission. All right, let me go ahead and get it. Okay, brought the quadcopter back from a rock and a hard place. <laughs> uh, let's check out the damage. The damage is very minimal. Uh, looks like it's got scraped up on the props just a little bit in the front and right here. Uh, but all of the prop guards are still intact. Nothing is broken. Um, the only thing that snapped off is the, vel um, the, the zip tie tying down the XM receiver antenna. And that's an easy fix. So that's just about it. Everything is still good. Uh, I see a couple of scrapes down here, right here. It must have landed right here in the dirt. So I was spared it didn't hit a rock. Maybe it did kind of uh, scrape the front props a little bit, but that's just about it. So still in good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix up the antenna and We'll go for another little FPV run. All right, we got the Turbo Wing Kobe by TransTech all fixed up, ready to go for our second FPV flight. Got a new zip tie holding the XM receiver wire, so it is ready to go. I'm not sure if I like this camera, this 700 TV line CMOS camera. Uh, they do not give the information of, of what the field of view is. I believe it's only about a 100 degree field of view. Uh, and not a very fish eye one, so it's very hard to see uh, peripheral vision. Uh, the VTX, however, uh, did pretty good. I was getting pretty good reception around the uh, cabin over here. It is the 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel uh, VTX switchable. Uh, on the product page, it says 20 slash 200 milliwatts, but it does have three positions. So I'm thinking it's 25, 100, 200. I have mine set on 200 and with even this tiny dipole antenna sticking out the back it did give me pretty good reception all the way around all over uh, however the XM receiver uh, 
failed to go beyond uh, behind the rock. It just gave out behind the rock. Uh, the motors on this baby here, the 1306, 3300 kV motors, able to handle 3S. And the props that they give you are the 3030 tri-bladed props. And the ESCs on this baby is the BL Heli S12 amp D-Shot ESCs. And the frame itself is uh, measuring measuring in at 24. Oh, 2.5 millimeter true X frame carbon fiber frame and the flight controller is the F3 flight controller with uh, built-in OSD better flight OSD and it was pre-flashed with firmware 3.1.7 and this baby here comes with the XT60 plug so that's a quick rundown that I didn't go through in the beginning, uh, but uh, that is just about it. I think it's a pretty decent quadcopter. It flies pretty good, uh, but however, as you saw, when you're coming free falling and you uh, rebound with the throttle up, uh, the prop guards, the ducted fan does produce that movement. Uh, like any other tiny hoop design, even the King Kong ET series did that as well so yeah all in all very very nice i think uh, a best way to fly this thing is to remove the prop guards so you can fly it without any restrictions and perhaps uh, change out the uh, camera on this baby here and it will be a fantastic of a flyer i think but i'm gonna go ahead and do another fpv run just the way it is so i uh, hope you enjoy that flight thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and that concludes our flight test and review of the trans tech turbo wing kobe